Hello and welcome to my video about scale factor. So um, we're, we're talking about scale factor, we're going to use something I call the fraction method. So what I always do, and I'm just going to show this part first, is I um, we're going to be talking first of all with the same units. Um, so what I do is I put my unknown always on top, on the left, okay, and I put my known underneath it, okay. Now, I don't know what values those are going to be, um, but I know that it's either going to be the original, so I put OG, or the, um, maybe I can use a different color even, um, or the image. So it's either going to be the OG or the image. If it's the OG on top, that means that the bottom is going to be the image. And if it's the, o the image on top, it's going to be the OG on the bottom. Now, whatever it is on top, on the left side of the equal sign, it's going to be the same on the right side of the equal sign. Whatever it is on the bottom, on the left side, is going to be the same for the um, bottom on the right side. So the same sort of thing holds true. So it's either the red option or the green option. I don't know which, uh, but it'll be something like this. Um, there will be units in here. I'm just going to put A. Uh, these are units. And they have to be the same units. Okay. Um, and on the right side, all those values that we're getting here, this is the scale factor. So whatever the scale factor happens to be, this is the scale factor. Sometimes it's, and usually it's like, something something to one but it doesn't have to be it could be 12 to 5 like it could be like this in which case it's not going to be as simple so keep that in mind it doesn't have to be um, always to one so scale factor there it is okay mr drager um, takes a picture of one of his kids he knows that the child is three feet in real life if the picture has a scale factor of 12 to 1, how tall is his child in the picture? So we just have to go through this nice and carefully, but we're looking for um, the image, because we're looking for how tall that my child is in the, in, uh, on the actual picture itself. So we're looking for the image, and we have the 3 feet for the original. If I know it's three feet for the original, that means whatever I'm finding here is going to be in feet. So I'm going to get an answer in feet. So keep that in mind. Um, now, keep in mind that we're, we're going to get some sort of decimal answer here. So it might be helpful to convert that to inches first. Uh, but we'll do it this way around, OK? So this is the, the first side of the setup. If you have image on top on the left, you have it on top on the right. If you have OG on the uh, bottom on the left, you have it on the bottom on the right. Now, is the original or is the image bigger? Well, hopefully you can see that the original is bigger. The picture is going to be a small little picture, right, that you can hold. You can't, well, you can hold a child as well, but uh, not as easily as just a simple picture, right? A picture is smaller than the original, generally speaking, unless it's a picture of like a, a microbe or something. Okay, so there is our function. Now that we have that, we are going to try to get our unknown all by itself. So we multiply by three on both sides, this whole thing here, right? So that will uh, cancel there. And actually, like, you would have the feet um, and OG, right? And so the feet and OG, watch this. OG cancels, feet does not, which is why we're left with feet image, feet image. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Okay, so X equals, and it'll be 3 over 12. 3 times 1 is 3, so 3 over 12, um, which can simplify to 1 quarter of a foot. Now, this is 1 quarter of a foot. Now, we know that, um, you know, that's kind of not a very useful measurement. What we want to do is we want to switch that to um, 
inches. So we have one quarter of a foot. So we're going to times by, um, and we want to get rid of feet, so we're going to put feet on the bottom, and we're going to get inches on top, so 12 inches per one foot. And so 12 over 4, so feet cancel, and so we're going to be left with 3 inches. And now, if you look back, you might be able to see already, oh wow, the scale factor was also the unit conversion, so it was way easier. We could have just gotten there pretty much instantly. But anyways, there we have it. Okay, so I hope that helps, but let's go ahead and try another question. So that one we were looking for the image, but now take a look at this one. A map shows the distance to Banff to be 2.3 centimeters with a scale factor of that. What is the actual distance to Banff in, and I'm going to just change this here, um, in miles? Okay, um, now keep in mind that we should have uh, the values from the formula sheet. So keep in mind, we should have the values from the formula sheet here. And so now that we have that, we can go ahead and try this question out. So 2.3 is the um, image. It's on the map. 2.3 centimeters is the image, which means we're looking for the original. And if you started with centimeters, you're going to end up with centimeters when you calculate this. So the scale factor is this to 1. Well, which is bigger? Well, the original is obviously bigger. The map is going to be the smaller value. So this is going to be original, and this is going to be the image. Okay, now that we have that, we can times by 2.3 on both sides to move it over. So x equals 2.3 times by 5 million four hundred fifty thousand and so we get that x equals and I cannot do that in my head so 2.3 times 5 4 5 0 1 2 3 perfect enter and we get 12 5 oh gosh 3 5 1 2 3 so it's 12 million. Okay, but this is in centimeters. Now, we don't want centimeters, right? We want to have... We want to have, um, well, eventually, miles. But we can't go straight to miles. We can't even go straight to kilometers. So what we need to do is multiply this by something that gets rid of centimeters and changes it to meters. Well, it's 100 centimeters per one meter, so those cancel, which is great, but not great enough. We need to get rid of the meters, which are going to cancel, and we're going to get kilometers. So it's one kilometer is a thousand meters. Okay, but we're going to multiply one more time because we don't actually want kilometers, so we want to get rid of those. So those need to disappear. So what's the conversion between kilometers and miles? Um, well, it is 1 mile is 1.609 kilometers, and again, you can look that up on your formula sheet, but it's down here. Um, so we have that value there, and so now we're going to have miles at the end. So it's going to be that number uh, divided by 100 divided by 1,000 divided by 1.609. And so we get uh, 77.9 miles. Okay, and so you can see how you could add uh, unit conversion from the last lesson to this one if you wanted to. Okay, last question here. Um, we've got these two measurements. So when photocopying, um, oh, this went a little bit funky. There you go. 
Uh, when photocopying a page, Mr. Drager forgot to check the settings and someone else had set it to an enlargement. What scale factor was used if the page went from that to that? Okay, now when we talk about scale factor, um, we're always talking about uh, in lengths, not area. Area will change differently, so we're talking about in lengths. Okay, so it went from that to that. Now, it, it may not be exactly perfect, but let's see. Um, going from this value to that value. Um, should be, well, doesn't look like that's going to be exactly perfect. Let's try this one to this one. Um, it might be that it's supposed to be in inches, but that's okay. It'll be close enough. Uh, so we might have some decimal answer. But anyway, so we've got the original is uh, 297. The image, and this is in millimeters, is 1,189 millimeters. You'll see that millimeters cancels, and so you're left with a fraction of OG over image. Now, actually, just because we want to have uh, a whole number answer, we're going to flip this around, or can we simplify it? Um, divide both by 9, perhaps? This, this would be better. Let's simplify it. So 297 can work. 1189. No, that one won't work. Okay, so we, we have uh, some rounding error here is what I'm noticing. So actually, we're going to flip this around, um, not because you really have to, but because what I want to do is I want to get a large value uh, instead of a small value. It will make the scale factor part easier. So I'm going to do image over um, original. So millimeters will cancel. And so if you divide those two, you get 4.00, and then you get a bunch of decimals. It's basically four. And this is four images equals one OG. Okay, this is again, not 100% precise, but it's close enough. Um, and if you check the other dimension, I believe it also works. So eight, or 1 divided by 210. I've, I actually looked up the measurements for A4 and um, A, A1. And so I think that it should give you the same value of 4 point, yeah, pretty darn close to 4. So it's a rounding error in terms of the measurement of the millimeters. So it must have been in imperial at first. So the ratio is, or the scale factor is four to one. Okay, so I hope this video helps you better understand um, scale factor, how to find scale factor. Always do, I recommend doing the bigger number divided by the smaller number, and then finding a ratio there. Sometimes it might be helpful to simplify the fraction. In this case, it was rounded, so it's not perfect. Uh, but normally it would be fine uh, to just simplify the fraction. Um, and then you can also see the other two versions for question one and two using fraction method to solve these. So I hope this video helped you better understand scale factor and good luck.